Greetings, everyone. This is Chris from the Catholic Company, and I'm talking today with uh, Father Roderick von Hagen about uh, the retirement of Pope Benedict XVI. Father Roderick is a priest from the Netherlands, is co-founder of the SQPN Podcasting Network, uh, and is available all over social media, so you can find him just about anywhere you look online. Father Roderick, uh, thank you for coming and talking with us for a few minutes. Thanks for having me. Now, Father Roderick has a very unique perspective because he was actually there at the election of Pope Benedict XVI. So, uh, Father Roderick, uh, could you share with us a little of your reflections uh, based on being there from, with uh, Pope Benedict from the very beginning? It was one of the most extraordinary times in my life. Um, it, it has always been a dream uh, that I had. Um, I remember as a kid seeing the election of John Paul II and, uh, and, and seeing him appear on the balcony. And ever since I've been studying in Rome for two years, I was like, wouldn't it be so amazing if you could be there and, and, and actually be present when history is being made? And when I started to discover podcasting, I was like, I would like to be there with a small microphone and record what is going on. And that actually happened. I was standing there underneath a balcony. I wriggled my way through security. And uh, of course, as a priest, that is easier to do than another journalist. And so I was just standing on this uh, plastic seat, just looking at the at the little chimney on top of the of the chapel. And then all of a sudden... It looked white. We weren't sure. And then, of course, everybody started to get excited. And you, at one point, hear these bells uh, being told. And then the, the doors of the balcony open. And I, I, I still know that I was whispering. I was recording all, all, everything that happened. And, and, and when you, heard, you hear the, the Habemus Papam and his name is – and then he said, Joseph? I was like, Ratzinger, it is Ratzinger. I told you so because I, I was hoping that it would be Ratzinger um, because I have huge admiration for him as a theologian, uh, but also uh, as a pastor. He's a, just a very friendly person, uh, very kind, uh, and and uh, just a perfect successor to John Paul II, almost as someone who is from the same family. I mean, these two have worked so closely together that it just felt like the best thing that could happen to the church. Um, and so I will already, always remember those those first moments of Pope Benedict and how ex how excited I was. Even though a lot of the let's say outsiders were very critical, they were all off. Oh, this is this is the famous Vatican watchdog, and it's going to be just a regression to uh, the, the Middle Ages. And I was like, come on, you you don't even know this guy. <laughs> let him let him just be Pope for a couple of years and and uh, and see what happens. And I still think that he's been an extraordinary Pope and so inspirational and definitely a Pope of 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 depth and in I remember um when we were in Cologne for World Youth Day his first big event in public he had this it was such a contrast with John Paul II who normally only had to appear and everybody just went berserk and Pope Benedict was there very small very fragile um very modest soft spoken but he had this meditation on on the magi and it was so beautiful. I was like, oh, this is what we're going to going to have for the next few years, you know. This is a pope that really touches you with his words, with his theology, with his depth and I think that uh, especially the young generation in the church has seen this and recognizes this and that is why in Spain in Madrid there was such a huge crowd. I mean, he's a very different pope, pope from Pope John Paul II, but it's almost a, a, a complimentary pope. He's like, uh, he's everything that Pope John Paul II wasn't. And at the same time, he's totally himself. And it, it's just beautiful, that, that balance between those two popes. So nothing but good memories. Thank you so much, Father Roderick, for sharing with us.